now to talk about the drama is East Bay Congressman Mark DeSonia. I've got to ask this going in. You ever feel like grabbing a reporter's throat and throwing it to the ground? Other than you, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, yeah. Ever. I love you. Yeah, no, but I can understand that. I mean, after a while, sometimes I, I've been at these press conferences where the same question gets over and over asked. I mean, how do you control yourself all the time? Hey, that's part of the job. The, the, the free press in a democracy is paramount. And Jefferson said that, and we just have to show respect for it. Doesn't mean we agree with you all the time. It was an interesting election. Now, we have this one in Montana. And we have another one coming up in Georgia, where the Democrats are mm -hmm. hoping to make a bellwether statement that was turning the tide. One down, one to go. What's your call? Well, in Montana, we, we lost by 25 percentage points a year ago. And then we lost by seven. So there's definitely something going on. In Georgia right now, the Democrats are ahead by seven percentage points. So things have changed, but it depends on who shows up and how energized our base is versus the Republican base. Which brings us to a question. Is it enough to just bash Trump? No. Now, I, th I don't think so. I think we have to demonstrate, particularly the American middle class that's evaporating and under attack, that we're there to defend them, and we have specific plans for that. So the Affordable Care Act is an example of that. The current bill right now um, would eviscerate health care in America for working class people and poor people. Okay, so while we have that, those issues that affect working class people, we spend a lot of our time on these other issues like Republican conduct and the president's conduct and, and ties to Russia. And, and we have have that whole reality show drama going on. How do you find a way to even bring your agenda to the front? Well, I think it's important for Democrats to stay focused, and it's focused on helping the middle class and people who are struggling for opportunity in this country when we have historic rates of inequality, and more and more money goes to the wealthiest. We've got a very greedy environment right now. It's all about money in elections. Uh, it's all about money in health care and who benefits from that. So we have to focus on what's important, what's important to average working Americans. Okay, but when we do that and we put it out there, I mean, there was an ad that just recently started running and is maybe continuing to run Run in the Georgia election, where Democrats are making a, a, a attempted comeback there, and in that one, John Ossoff, the Democrat, is being linked to San Francisco and all the values and all the things that you were talking about in this television ad. They even featured a cable car and the Golden Gate Bridge. What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> it's America's favorite city. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I don't so you walk press. through it. <laughs> but the, the questions that they're bringing up are, if it is this liberal and you don't care about this and you don't, and, and ISIS and all that, it, it, it's, it's seen as a hit. Yeah. So I, I'm not it's, sure that it's, it, it's, the demos are, are in that place right now where they're connecting. It's Tip O'Neill. He said all politics is local. What works in San Francisco, what works in Concord, where I live, doesn't work in, in the suburbs of Atlanta, except that one common thing works. Americans care about their ability to have opportunity to raise their family, to buy a house, to retire in security. That's what we have to focus on. We're the party that fights for that. Okay, but again, as these races go on, if you're going to do that, where are the specifics of how you're going to do that? Where is the Democratic plan? Well, let's start with health care. Okay, let's if start with that. $400 million, billion dollars here in California. And the idea that people might surrender their health care for one that's run by the state. Is that going to solve? Well, first things first. First, our plan is the Affordable Care Act. Ultimately, we should go to some form of single payer universal health care. Every other developed country in the world has it. You can't turn on that immediately. Right. And that's the criticism. You can't take almost 20 percent of the of the world's largest economy and just change it to single payer but medicare works we can expand that over time uh, it brings down costs and has better health outcomes but for, the, for right now what we have to do is defend what's been working for most americans and most californians is the affordable care act and not have that eviscerated as the republican plan that's now in the senate uh, would do so the fight would be you would you would urge Democrat, democrats to fight nationwide on the affordable health care to to keep it as it is or modify it but fight to keep it from being overturned that's the first thing the second thing is we have to go to those places we lost and said working class americans are the most important thing right now for america that net not everyone benefits from this economy and unfortunately the people who benefit the most are the top one percent we have to spread that so that everybody benefits from a growing economy and it's got to grow faster well it's going to be interesting and uh, we managed to make through this interview without you lunging at me once okay <laughs> you Marcus. usually lunge at me <laughs> Marcus.